Here's a tough question to ponder. If there's a risk that you'll have a serious medical issue later in life, would you want to know, even if you may not be able to do anything about it? Modern medicine can now test your DNA for more than 5,000 health risks. Sometimes the results are clear cut, but sometimes they aren't. NBC News national correspondent Kate Snow now with a story of two women who, like so many others, went searching for answers. Sitting in a waiting room near Denver, 46-year-old Marcella Velez is nervous. She's here because of her family. Three years ago, her mom back in Colombia was diagnosed with breast cancer and treated. Then last year, they found more, colon and liver. So today, the single mom is talking with a genetic counselor about her own cancer risk based on a blood test. Having cancer in the family is... Okay. It's a hard day, right? It's hard. Yeah. But I, um, I just want to make sure that I do the right thing for my kids. It's what's driving so many women to take a simple test. Actress Angelina Jolie told the world she had preventative surgeries after she discovered she's at higher risk for breast and ovarian cancers. Have you seen an Angelina effect? Absolutely. Yes. And they say, you know, I've known about this for years. My doctors told me to do this for years, but it's just been in the news so much. And that's what brought me in. We were with 37 year old single mom Lori Hyde when she met with the genetic counselor for her results. Her mom is also a breast cancer survivor. Lori and Marcella had a test that looks for mutations in 25 genes, including the infamous BRCA1 and 2, which dramatically increase the risk for breast and ovarian cancers. So the lab did not find anything in any of the genes that they know causes increased risk for cancer. So very good news. Wow, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a big relief. But for Marcella, the results are more complicated. The genetic counselor told her she does not have a BRCA mutation, but she does have something else she wasn't so expecting. They found a mutation again in the PMS2 gene. That means Marcella's risk of developing colon cancer is three times higher than most people's. She'll need colonoscopies every year. The counselor explains why she also has a slightly higher risk for uterine cancer. Is there a lot of gray? Often there is, yes. And that is why we feel that genetic counselors are so essential to this process. Marcella is relieved the news isn't worse, but for her kids, it's hard to take. Knowing she could get cancer, sad. <laughs> Cancer is a really scary word. I mean, I am scared of that word, and my kids, it's really hard for them. Finding out that I have the propensity to get those types of cancers, it gives me the power to do something about it. Now, the test these women got costs up to $6,000, but insurance does cover people with a certain family history. But some say everyone should have access, and tomorrow night we'll explore that. And also, Lester, what might be the downside? It's a scary road to travel, though. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.